welcome back to my channel if you're ready for the first time don't forget to subscribe and if you are subscribed thank you for doing that and don't forget to share my video comment today we want to DIY Zara have. yes this is Zara Hearts let me show you guys how to do Zara Hearts so a video on how to cut and sew Zara scarf how to tie Zara with your African fabric. Today we are making the heart. Guys, check it out. That is this so beautiful, guys. And if you want to make your own bigger, all you have to do is just add to the measurements for a long man like this. So, so let's do it high while let's get ready. The measurement I have here is 23 by 12 inches. You are going to cut two out two, two places then my thick wording that i'm going to use for the heart is 19 inches by three inches so the next thing is that we are going to fold it that way you're going to fold your fabric fold into two the name of my material is door face you can use scuba you can use your brighter satin just depending on you so let's get ready so the next thing now, I'm going to join the two together. As you can see, I will join it together. You can, instead of making it of two door face, you can make the second one to be your lining. But I would love to make two door face so that it's going to be very thick. Is I will turn it out now, fold it again. As you can see what I'm doing there, fold it and I'm going to put my wording in. That's what I'm going to do. Avoid the high on my fabric. Make sure you high on your fabric to make it neat. So I'm going to measure it at the middle. So I'm going to place the middle and I'm going to notch out the middle. I'm going to notch it out. You place it at the middle. Make sure you notch it. As you can see what I'm going to do there. I'm make it on my machine. So to get the center. So that won't make mistakes to get center then you place the thick wording make sure your wording is two you can make it of one i make it of two wording and i sew the two together if you check one of my video that what i did there then you use a chalk to trace it out just chalk to trace it out you can trace it down so it's what i'm doing guys it's very 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 easy to make so you are going to fold it in and make sure you leave one inches sewing allowance your one inches sewing allowance you hold it you fold it in you put it in make sure it's very straight that is very important make sure it's very straight so it's time to sew make sure it's very as you can see, I'm folding it. Make sure you get the center very well. Make sure you get the center very well and you sew it. You sew it down. So you sew it down. As you can see, sew it down. I'm sewing it down. You have to take it easy because of the thick wood that's inside. You don't need to rush yourself. You take it very, very easy. Take it easy. You take it easy. Keep sewing. You keep sewing. Yes, you keep sewing. You keep sewing and make sure your hand is very straight. Let your hand be very straight. Yes. As you can see, guys, what I'm doing, sew it down. I sew it down so it's down so check one of my video now how to make this scarf this is the art check one of my video how i made the scarf so the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to sew the two side me so as you can see guys i'm sewing i'm sewing the two parts that's the first one then i'll be going to the second one so i'll be sewing the second part as you can see guys i'll be sewing the second part 
Don't forget, if you want to make your home bigger, all you have to do is what add to the measurement. That means you're going to add two to inches to four side. Uh, you had the measurement. So I'm done with this sewing. I'm done with the sewing, the thick wording, and the first part. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys. See, it's, yes, I'm done with the sewing. That's are going to look like. Then you're going to fold. You're going to fold. If you want it bigger, that means you're going to make use of 14 inches. And I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to sew the pant. Yes, I'm going to measure it. So I'll be making use of 10 inches. I'll make it of 10 inches. It can make it of 12 inches, 13 inches, and 40 inches. But mine, I'll make it of 10 inches. I just want it to be very pretty for my head. So that make it a Zara art. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew. I'm going to sew it. Then I'm going to do a plating on the other side. I'm going to do a plating. I'm done with the sewing down. Then the next thing is the plating. You can make some new and try to make the plating, but I'll make it so I'll make use of the sewing machine. Yes, I'm done. And the next thing you're going to do is going to cut that side you're going to cut it out but if you are sewing it in the you're making it with a pad of 13 you're making a 14 don't need to cut it but my is 10 inches then i'm going to do a plating i'm going to do plating you can make of needle and thread you can use a needle and thread to do the one stitching so I'm going to sew it down take it easy yo guys don't forget to share this video and don't forget to like don't forget to comment and don't forget to comment down on the next tutorial that you want me to teach you guys so guys our zara art is ready our zara art is ready I hope you guys can make this for yourself. Wow. Then after the sewing, is how the in is going to look like. Now you see that my in is very neat. Make sure you double it. So it's going to be very neat. Double your material. And you should bring it out like this. Bring it out like this. Yeah. And the next thing, you fold Azara is ready. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like and don't forget to comment. See you next time on my next You go and can without remorse, without heart in your head, your right, but in my head, you are the best. Shut to the word that you're the bad one. You was being bad. That you saw my love. You saw my time. You saw my heart. You begged me to come up with you. Do you, do you, do you, do you. I don't know. I'm fine without you.